Okay, and this is where you're going to need your flares. And it's going to freak you out if you've never been down in here. Let's go take a look at what's making all that ruckus. Oh yeah. A couple of fuzzy Caucasians. What's up everybody, Badass Games, welcome back to Tomb Raider 2. Today we're in the Ice Palace, and we gotta open this door that's right there, but we gotta shoot this bell. Can't use pistols, so we guess we gotta use automatic ammo. Alright, we're gonna go into this open area, and you hear those hairy white dudes storming around and yelling, because they're up in this cage and they're kind of angry about that. Yeah, we're gonna let them down and then finish them off after we do that. Okay, so one of the first ways you want to go when you get into this room is you're gonna find these pressure plates on the ground, and uh, the first one that you want to walk on is this one. Just run straight into it. You don't need to grab in the air or anything, and you'll be launched up to this platform up here, where you'll find a switch and some Uzi ammo. So let's grab the Uzi ammo and then turn around and pull this switch. This is what's going to let the hairy white dudes free from their cages. So let's drop down here. We'll be safe because we're on the upper level. They got to come all the way up here to attack you. I'm going to grab my N16 and lay waste to these hairy crackers from up here. All right, they're all dead. Now, as you can see, the gate, the uh, cage that they were in has fallen down and it revealed this little opening right here. Okay, so we can come back in here and over here you'll find a large med pack. And also, there's uh -huh. going to be a hairy white guy that's going to come around the corner. I'm going to grab my shotgun. And uh, he's not going to spawn until you step on this, the tile that's two in front of the tile that had the large med pack on it. So on this tile right there, stand on it, spawn him, and then take a cop back put a few rounds in his face and then turn around and maybe even light a flare if you want to take a look around you'll notice that there's a discolored tile right here okay this is gonna lead us to the first secret of the level so what we gotta do is gotta pull this out you don't want to push it because if you push it then you can't push it any further and you'll be stuck you have to pull it anyway so pull it out push it to the side and you'll open up an area which is also a really cool secret that they did in this game. I, I'm pretty surprised. Like, I remember when I came in here for the first time, I was like, how the heck am I going to get that gold dragon? Well, it turns out that there is a uh, platform right here. It's invisible. And it's all the, it runs all the way across this entire room. You can also toss a flare on it to figure it out. Okay, and it's only just as narrow as the, uh, the tile or the um, pillar uh -huh. itself. So let's go grab this gold dragon there's nothing down below so you don't need to go down there if you do drop down there you'll see that there are ladders that you can climb out and make your way out of there okay we already dealt with this guy right here we got the large med pack we want to continue on through here we want to pull this switch right here it's going to raise these platforms right there okay we're gonna need to stand on those here in a little bit and you'll see that as soon as I get over there uh, but there's a couple of other things that we want to take care of before I do that all right so I'm gonna Jump over here. I want to try to stay on the second level. If you fall through the cage, it's fine. You can get out. It's easy. Uh, while we're up here, let's go grab this large med pack that they have over here in the corner. All right. So uh -huh. <clears throat> that's all the items that are in this opening area. And what we want to do now is we need to shoot another bell. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and select my automatic pistols because I'm not going to use pistols. No pistol run, right? All right. And there's the bell. So there's a way you can actually get on this bell, okay, uh, and uh, make sure that you actually shoot it and not take any damage. What you want to do is, you, if you're having a hard time, you're all the way down, like, I'm actually in the proper position now, I'm going to show you how to get in the proper position if you're not on the second level. So if you're on the second level, you're in the proper position. Uh, if you're not, then you, what you want to do is you want to jump and grab this ledge and just slide off, okay, just let it do its thing, and now you're in a proper position. Standing from here or from the other position after you came down, you want to do a back jump, just a back flip and she will fly all the way up there and you're able to shoot that bell. Okay, now that we have that done, let's go over here. Here's another jump plate and this is going to put us up to that platform that we just raised not too long ago. Make sure you jump and grab in the air, otherwise she'll hit the side of it and she'll fall back down. You'll take some damage, so be careful. All right, so there's another bell right here on this level on this ledge. That's why we had to raise this thing so we can shoot this bell. You're going to have to jump in order to shoot it. So keep that in mind. All right, now to get down, I use this slope and bo by shooting both of those bells, it opened both of these gates so you can actually make your way into here. Okay, so from here, there's another pressure plate, another jump plate. Uh, you want to jump onto this, or you want to land, uh, 
you want to stand on this thing from the side like this and hold and uh, grab in the air so that way you grab this ledge and you want to shimmy over to the right okay there's another bell up here that we need to shoot to open up another gate to get us through here all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pull my automatics out there's the bell shoot it real quick and then just make your way back down to the bottom now be careful you don't want to land on that jump plate otherwise you can take a lot of damage from those jump plates they're not very nice okay so now in order to get to the next spot what you want to do is you want to get onto the jump plate from this side this time jump and uh, grab in the air so you grab this ledge and we'll pull ourselves up and you'll find this ladder which we can use to pull ourselves up to the next level okay now be careful while you're up here because there are a bunch of holes that you can fall through and take a lot of damage we want to avoid damage right now okay we don't want any damage because there's some force damage that we need to take and then we got a boss fight that's guarding some items that we're gonna need to get okay run and jump over here because there's a hole over there that if we fall through we'll die I'm gonna take out my M16 because here comes another hairy white guy pound those rounds into his face and then jump up here to grab these flares all right, now what we want to do is we want to get over through that little opening that the hairy white guy came from. Now, by standing on the tile that I'm on right now, you spawn an extra tiger, okay? If you if you jump through here up on this side, then you won't spawn this tiger. Okay, so uh, it's sometimes, depending on which tile you get on, you may or may not spawn that tiger. Make sure you stand on the tile that the hairy white guy is dead on right now, and you will definitely spawn that extra tiger for that extra kill. All right, I'm going to grab my Uwezies now, because we're going to go in here, and there's going to be a couple more white tigers that we can light up. And there we go. Now, as we go into this room, we're going to get some crazy music. And uh, we're gonna get attacked by a couple more tigers. I'm gonna use my M16 to stand right here and just light these guys up. I got a comment here from Mr. Anime Opera who's like, I'm concerned about how much M16 ammo you're using. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's gonna matter. I got Uzis and I got automatic pistol and all that stuff. Okay, let's run and jump over here. We'll find this Tibetan mask. And I got another comment here from Cluefast uh -huh. who says, it's funny that how these masks have such magical powers. And in fact, this mask right here opened up another door that I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. I actually forgot to grab a bunch of items and I'll show you these, that m door that the mask magically opened as soon as we get over to there. Okay, before I do that though, I'm gonna go up here and grab this small med pack that I didn't grab earlier. Uh -huh. And also the stone dragon is in this area as well, which I didn't grab. What we wanna do is we'll find this little opening right here. It's very dark. Okay, jump through here. And then jump up here and we'll find the stone dragon. Uh -huh. All right, so far we have two out of the three secrets we need in this level. We have the gold and the stone dragons. We still need the jade dragon. We won't be getting the jade dragon until the very end of this level. And this is a pretty long level, so it's going to be a little bit. All right, so now that we have all that stuff, I'm going to fall down here. I'm going to have to fight another fuzzy Caucasian. All right, and there's also another one down below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light some flares and try to toss them down to the pits. So that way I can get a good eye on, as to where this guy's at. Um... Because I don't want to go have to go down there and fight him face to face, because that's not fun. I'm going to have to stand up here and do it if I don't want to take any damage. Alright, and you see the large med pack over there? I'm going to get that in a little bit. I'm going to worry about this guy first. I'm going to use my Uzis, and I'm going to stand on this tile right over here, okay? Because for some reason he likes to pull himself up and into that little area over there. So this tends to be like the best spot in order to shoot him up. So now just be patient while we're waiting. Um, he is going to just walk around down there. We just got to pretty much figure out where he's at and then try to get a lock on him. And then once we have a lock, we'll know where he's at the entire time. Which is one of the reasons why I like the, you know, Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 over, you know, the newer Tomb Raiders and even TRLE. Oh, he's in that doorway right there. So he's on this side. Um, the reason why I like... Oh, there he is. Yay! I got a lock, so that's good. Um... The fact that you can lock on enemies is awesome. You can't do that in Tomb Raider 4, you can't do that in Tomb Raider 5, and you cannot do it in TRLEs. Which, I mean, sort of makes a lot of sense, like if you uh, lose an enemy, then you shouldn't uh -huh. necessarily know where it's at. But I just think being able to know where it's at is pretty awesome. Alright, so now that we have him taken care of, he's the only one down there. You want to fall down through this tile right here, the very center of these three tiles. Okay, because there's no spikes underneath it. All the other spots have spikes, so if you fall through, you will definitely die. Okay, now that we're through here, we did take a little bit of fall damage. We're going to go into this corner and find some automatic ammo. 
Alright, it's in the corner of this dark room. You should be able to know where you're at because of the opening. Okay, this is lit. You can tell where you're at. Alright, and there's the, uh, hairy white guy dead. And at the very end of this little passageway, you will find a small uh -huh. med pack. Now, this passageway thing, you can actually look over and see that this is at the other area, um, of the last level. And I love it when the games do that sort of thing. I love it when it repeats a little bit of stuff. Okay, so here's a Tibetan mask. I'm gonna put this into this slot. It's gonna open the door that's just right around this corner. Be careful of the spikes. Remember, you can walk through spikes, so if you're having an issue, then you can hold the walk button to get through the spikes without taking any damage. Over here, from the other side of the bridge, on this side of the bridge, you'll find some flares. Uh -huh. Pick them up, and then we're gonna get back over onto the bridge carefully. Okay, so um, one of, some of you guys might be wondering, well, you know, in the last level, why couldn't Lara Croft just climb up to this bridge and, you know, continue on from here? And that's a good question because, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like there's anything that's preventing her from being able to do any of this stuff from here. But um, the fact of the matter is, in the last level, there, there's tile right here is a sliding slope and you cannot make your way back up to the bridge. But if you do fall down here and you want to make your way back up, then you can make it back up this way. Uh, this tile is not is not programmed that way in the last level, so you cannot make it up here, which is kind of a, you know, continuity error, but necessary, I guess. It's necessary. Okay, now we're back in this room, as you may recall, from the last level with the big pool, and we came down through here. We, we were in here. We're going to see... You might notice some very uh, large similarities between these areas. Okay, I'm going to fall down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on this ledge right here, tap the roll button so that way I can land on this tile and fall through without losing any damage. Now I'm going to take out my M16. we got to fight some white tigers. All right. Make sure you lay waste to them before they come at you. All right, the M16 is really good for tearing stuff up before it gets to you. All right, here's some shotgun shells. Uh -huh. All right, so this was the area that I came in in the last level, and we went into this pool and got the Tibetan mask. Well, the Tibetan mask is no longer there, but it's been replaced by some Uzi ammo. So let's go ahead and grab the Uzi ammo. And then make our way through. Now, the lever that I pulled before I came down into this section, uh, it tipped the large... Whatever it is, the um, bowl, I guess it has some really hot stuff in it, and it melted the ice so we can fall into the ice, and which is what we're going to want to do because, if you can see, the bowl's tipped now, and it dumps some stuff in here so that way we can fall into the water. We're going to grab the gong hammer, okay, and while we're in the water, we're going to get attacked by some catfish, so I'm going to take out my harpoon gun and just wait right here for them. I'm gonna fire four shots. Hopefully it kills them within the four shots. It usually kills them within three, but I don't want to have to worry about reloading. All right, there we go. Now they're dead. Now, this part is very, very tricky, so what I recommend doing is surfacing like this and then coming over to this tile right here. And be very careful. You can stand right here without these guys attacking you. Unfortunately, you cannot unholster a weapon. Do you see I'm gonna select my shotgun? She's not gonna take it. So what you gotta do is you gotta take a step forward and spam your unholster and then try to get a shot or two off. Oh no, I got hit. Oh, we'll see if I can still get through this anyway. They can't attack you from here. Oh, I guess they can. I'm surprised. That's never happened before. Leave it to actually recording your video before that stuff happens. Okay, so this is definitely the best way of doing this. I just wasn't in the right position. So I'm, uh, I'm going to reload my game. I'll try to do this again without uh, taking, without losing any damage. All right, guys, I'm back at this spot. I'm going to try this again. The idea here is to surface so that way you can get a step onto this ledge without going too far. And if you if you stay up behind this tile, then they will not attack you. The problem is that I'm also very close to them, and so hopefully I can. I want to get in there and get a shot off. Okay, so that works pretty well. I got one shot off. So, this is the entire idea of this whole thing. I'm gonna want to get further back, actually. Okay, I got, I got one shot on each of them, so this should be a lot easier for me to finish them off now.
No, get away. There we go. There we go. All right. So I got a comment here from Haley Moody asking me why I don't use my shotgun very much. Well, I've been picking up every single item in this game, and I've only have 11 shots for my shotgun, so I can I don't have a whole lot of opportunity to use the shotgun. But fortunately, in this case, uh, it's very effective, so I'm glad to be using the shotgun for you today. That is not the only hairy white guy that we got to deal with. There's another uh, there's another one back here in this dark area. Slide a flare so that way you guys can see where I'm running. As soon as I get to about here, he'll spawn and come over that ledge. Blow his head off and go behind the, the ledge that it came from because there's some grenades back here that we can pick up. Uh -huh. Okay, this one has three pickups worth of grenades, and then there's also one right here that only has uh -huh. one for a total of four grenade pickups. That's amazing. That's going to come in handy when we get to All Temple right. of Xion. All right, so let's make our way out of here. Let's light another flare so we can see where I'm going. Okay, it's pretty dark in this area. And this time, uh, what we're going to do is go on this side of the pillar, and you'll find that there's a small med pack. You can safely pick this up. Okay, there's no boulder traps or uh -huh. yetis that are going to come at you. But as soon as you get to about here, there's going to be another yeti that's spawning. He's going to spawn from the room up above. So I'm going to stand right here and just lay waste him as he makes his way down. Alright, let's make our way through here and up into this section. Alright. Now we're going to have some boulder traps. Don't go any further than this, otherwise you'll get hit by a boulder. See, they had a troll boulder behind there. Now we got a whole bunch of boulders we got to run and dodge. So just run out here, and then we're going to aim for this corner, cat a corner to where we entered, and avoid these boulders. And into this area. Alright, finally those boulders are done, crushed around. There's no items in there or anything, so don't worry about it. There's a huge pit down below. You don't want to fall it down in there, so uh, be very careful. Alright. Just run and jump and aim for this section. Uh, I'm surprised I actually made that jump. If you hit the slope, you will slide. Just grab the edge and shimmy over and you'll be safe. Okay, now here's a big wall that we can climb. Alright. You can go all the way down to the bottom if you want, but there's nothing down there. There's nothing in either of the two pits, so you'll, you'll be safe. You'll be fine if you decide not to go down in there. All right, here we want to climb up the very center. If you climb the very center, you'll climb up at this section right here. Now slide down backwards and grab this ledge, because this is going to give you a lot of fall damage. So be very careful. Now use the gong hammer on the gong, okay? And what this is going to do is it's going to break away some ice walls that were preventing you from um, getting the talion, okay? The talion's down there. You can sort of see it out of the corner of the ice, okay? There was walls that were just blocking you from getting in there. So, yeah, now we got to make our way down to the, down there, and we've got to be careful, I guess. All right, now there is another ice wall right here that's not broken away. Uh, we can't go in there just yet, okay? Uh, that's going to be where the boss comes from. Uh, we need to collect the talion before that opens. Now, before we go do that, though, we want to get the last secret of the level. We need the we need the jade dragon at this point. So let's fall down here. There's a ladder that you can use to climb down. Uh, you want to turn. You don't want to go that direction, okay? Because there's some spikes. Uh, you could potentially kill yourself, and you can avoid the spikes and go all the way down to the end if you want, but there's nothing down there. There's also nothing at the end of this corridor, so this, the only thing that's down in this trench is that switch. And that switch is going to open up the door that's up there that was shut. You may have noticed it if you are playing this. I didn't show you it, but it's down there, and inside of that door is our Jade Dragon, is the final secret of the level. And it comes with a bunch of grenades, too. So you can use the grenade launcher on the boss if you like. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to kill him. I'll show you how to actually deal with the guy if you want to use pistols or if you want to use whatever you want. Uh, you can fight him without taking any damage, and I'll show you that. But before we do that, let's go grab our Jade Dragon. All right, the Jade Dragon is right here. This door is now open. Go in here. All right, do a run and jump over to this thing. You can land on the pillar and grab the Jade Dragon, uh -huh. as well as your amazing arsenal of grenades. So we have plenty of stuff to make stuff go poof with. Alright, so now let's go grab the Talion, and while I'm on my way up there, I'm going to show you a tactic that I'm going to use to um, prevent 
damage while I'm fighting the boss. Uh, the reason why I want to show you now is because it's a little bit harder to explain when I'm in the middle of a fight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on this tile, okay, I'm going to have my, my guns drawn. I'm going to be walking to the edge here. I'll walk to the edge, and while I'm firing at him, okay, and he's going to take off. He's probably going to go around one of the corners or something, or he'll get too, out of your range. You can't fire him. So when he does that, when he gets out of your range, just tap the roll button, and you'll land on this tile, and he'll be baited back. He'll come back toward you, and as soon before he gets to you, before he gets in the range of actually doing any damage, just do a backflip up to the top here, and then repeat the whole process over. You want to walk to the edge and then fall down and do just do that back and forth and you will be able to bait him properly and not take any damage while you're fighting him okay so inside of there is Italian but I'm gonna show you that uh, if this if you forgot to ring the gong and you came down here you can actually get back up in order to ring the gong so this is how you're gonna do that you're gonna come back here to this section And then you'll be on the other side of the gong, but you can still climb up and use the gong hammer on this ledge. So if you can stand right here, you can use the gong. In fact, she'll teleport to the other side and onto the other side of the gong in order to ring it. So pretty interesting. All right, so now that we've have everything we need, with the exception of uh, three pickups, including the Italian, we're gonna go in here, grab the Italian, spawn the boss, and then uh, we gotta uh -huh. do some stuff also because there's some more items that we want to get. In fact, um, that boss when he spawns. Uh, there's some items behind the uh, ice wall. So what we gotta do is we gotta bait him over here. We're gonna have to kite him in order to try to grab these items. Okay, so there's the boss. He's a big ass chicken. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kite him over here and I'm gonna try to do running jumps because I'm gonna try to get as much distance between me and him as I possibly can in order to get back here and grab these items. Alright, so I'm gonna try to run and jump, land on the item. Now I gotta get out of here without taking damage. That's the hard part. That's the hard part. No, get up. Alright, well, it's okay to get hit once. Oh my gosh, it's not okay to get hit twice. And, or the third time either. Alright guys, I will see you back at this spot. We'll get this guy and get those items. Alright guys, I just picked up the Italian. We're gonna try this again. I know it's possible I've done it. You can definitely get through this without using the med pack and totally getting all the items and everything. So let's sit here and wait for this big ass chicken once again. And come charging at me, these huge ass feet. I'm gonna run and jump, like I said. Okay, running and jump, running and jumping gets you a little bit more distance between you and whatever because you actually move a little bit faster when you do that. Okay, let's try to get this. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now we gotta get out of here, and that's the hard part. There, we're out. Yay! I didn't. If you get hit once, that's fine. Now we just gotta win, rinse and repeat this process one more time in order to get the item. Okay, kite him all the way over here. Now we gotta get those Uzi, the Uzi clips, and then we'll be good to go. We'll, we'll fight this guy for the rest of the time. Okay, once you kill him, you end the level, which is why I can't kill him to get these items first. Oh, he missed. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything though. This huge ass is in the way. Alright, so now let's do the little tactic that I was showing you. Okay, standing here, he's just gonna stand there and yell at you until you fire at him. So I'm gonna use my, uh, my Uzis, so he's just gonna stand there and do that. Wow, nice dance, man. You got some moves. Once you open up on him, he will take off, though, so I'm gonna walk to the edge here. Okay, as soon as he gets out of my range, which is gonna happen here soon. Roll, hit the roll button, stand here, wait for him to come back. And then I'll just do a backflip. And continue to light him up. I need to walk to the edge here in order to set myself up for this. Okay, he's dead, and once he takes the plunge, that is the end of the level. There you have it. I used no med packs. I got all the items. I got all the kills, all the secrets. I will see you guys in the next level. I'm Badass Games. Take it easy.